Hi, this is Sin. I'm going to show you today how to make a sticker on a word or a phrase. I always get a lot of questions about how do I cut letters um, and words to make a planner sticker. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a word and I'm going to choose the word weekend. I'm going to change the font and the color. So we'll make purple and you don't have to change the color or the outline. I just like to do that. Next, I'm going to change the fonts and I'm going to pick a block font that I like. And if you ever want to edit that, by the way, you could just right mouse click edit and find your font. Now, this process is going to involve tracing and offsetting the word until you get the cut that you like. And if necessary, I'll also show you how to release compound path to clean up the inner cut lines. So the first thing you want to do is highlight your word by tracing it and I select the little toast icon over to the right select trace area your mouse will turn into crosshairs you'll highlight the whole entire word I always increase threshold to get a nice thick line select outline and then trace we'll be working uh, with the trace so what I'm going to do, as you can see here, is I'm pulling the word away from the trace. Make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. Now I have a nice trace here of all individual letters, but clearly that's not sufficient for a sticker. So now I'm going to use the offset tool. Um, it's the little star down here. Um, it's also on panel, but I'm going to use it by clicking the right mouse and selecting offset from the dialog box and I want you to see that while my offset box is open the first thing you need to do is lower the distance and by lowering the distance I'm creating a very close tight cut line now that looks pretty good that that looks like possibly where I want to cut so now this may be a multiple step process you'll have to keep doing the offset function until you get the outer perimeter that makes the most sense for your word or your phrase. So for this particular word weekend, I'm going to take the outside away. I don't need that. And I can look at this and I can say, well, you know, that's not really the nicest perimeter cut that I want. So I'm going to offset this a second time. I'm going to do exactly the same step, right mouse click, offset. And now I'm going to get a way better offset. And I'll lower it, lower it, lower it, lower it, lower it, and it'll get nice and tight. And then I'll pull out the one I don't like. Now I have a really pretty offset and an appropriate cut line for a sticker. The last feature is to release the compound path. So now I'm going to highlight the whole thing, right mouse click, release the compound path. And what that does is it makes every little item in the cut a separate item. So now I can click on what I don't want. So I want to eliminate these outer cuts. Oh. So I'm just going to select just the inner cut and this inner cut here and delete. And now I got a clean outer perimeter cut and I can move everything back in. Now there's a couple of additional tricks that I wanna show you when you're getting ready to cut. Always check that you're only cutting the outer perimeter. So notice when I go to the send feature, this is where I delineate my cut line. I don't want to cut the word, so I'm going to select the word and say no cut. 
I don't really want to cut any of this, so I can select all these pieces and say no cut. And then the only place I'm going to cut, Cameo will recognize just the red line. Now if you go back to design, you can place your weekend word inside your cut perimeter. And just another quick trick. At this point, you can't reset the distance. If you don't like your offset, you have to start from the beginning. So one of the things I always do is I just take my word and just make it a little bit bigger. And this way, when I put it in the offset, it'll be just a little closer to the cut line. And it just fits just a little bit better. And it'll look a little bit prettier. So that's what your sticker's going to look like. Now, as I said, if you want to get even tighter, you can. Oh, let me show you how to do that. Highlight again, right mouse click, offset, and you can get as tight as you dare. Okay. All right, so we'll just get rid of that line. And highlight both, right mouse click, group. And now you have your sticker. You can go to send and print it. You can make it as small or as large as you need it to say. All right, that's it for this version of how to cut with Silhouette Studio. Thank you again. My name is Sin. I'll see you on the next video.